We've talked on the YouTube channel about Tom Clancy's End War, guys. This was a, a game that I believed could have been a full-blown franchise in a major way. I've said this in the past that End War was beyond its time in a number of ways, which... You know, you guys can check out all of those videos on the YouTube channel. I believe that End War was absolutely beyond its time uh, from, uh, you know, just being able to, you know, voice activated controls and things of that nature really kind of set this game apart. Even to this very day, a lot of other games out there haven't done what End War did. And even being based on like a console and such really made this kind of a special title. It just didn't land well with everyone. And I think the biggest issue was actually them releasing on console consoles when it should have been more so on PC and then maybe on consoles later on, but that's neither here nor there. The big question is, is in this segment of the show, is what happened to Tom Clancy's End War? And will we ever see a continuation of this franchise at some point or another in the future? So let's talk about it. So guys, according to Tom Clancy's End War page on Wikipedia, uh, obviously, Tom Clancy's End War is a real-time tactics game designed by Ubisoft Shanghai for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Windows platforms. It was released, guys, in 2008, and a sequel was in the works here. But due to the game's commercial failure, it was officially canceled on February 8th, 2010. So we'll get into that in a sec. But typically speaking, guys, one of two or, you know, two of two reasons why any game series franchise out there will get canceled or won't have a continuation typically is one of two of these things. Number one is, is if there's bad reception, like there's really bad reception based around a game, that may spell the demise of a franchise. And number two is lack of good sales is the other reason why, you know, you very well may not see a continuation of a franchise. And if you have both of those things, most likely, there's no way that uh, that franchise is going to go anywhere in the future. So, if we look down further, guys, as far as the reception is concerned for this game, End War received mixed to positive reviews. The Guardian gave the game a 4 out of 5. It was praised for its highly addictive solo play. The game comes into its own with, a ma with the massively multiplayer online theater of war. While being docked somewhat for occasional voice recognition blip, the website GameTrailers.com gave End War a 9 out of 10, saying that it was console strategy done right. IGN rated End War as an 8 out of 10, taking marks away for the uninspired single player campaign, but still saw it as a more than solid RTS. GameSpot's Kevin Van Ord rated the PS3 version of End War as a 7.5 out of 10, praising its innovative voice command mechanic and stating persistent online campaign makes matches feel be uh, meaningful, but berated it for its lack of story and simple rock, paper, scissors skirmishes. 1UP and Electronic Gaming Monthly both gave the game a C. So let's put it this way. As a whole, some people really love this game, others didn't. It's a mixed bag here. So when you say like the reception spelt the demise of this franchise, I wouldn't say it was that whatsoever, guys. I would say that a lot of games out there will get mixed to positive reviews, and usually if they get those, a lot of times they actually will get a continuation. But number two, though, guys, is the, you know, the sales here. So a sequel to the game was confirmed to be in the early stages of, de of development by Ubisoft's creative director, Michael DePlater, in an interview with VideoGamer.com. A small team from Ubisoft Shanghai is in charge of the development, he said, and is concentrating on two areas of improvement, single player story and depth. He could not, however, place a date as to when more information on the sequel would be released. On February 8th, 2010, it was announced that the development of the sequel was canceled due to the game's commercial failure. On September 10th, 2013, Ubisoft announced that Ubisoft Shanghai is working on n -War Online for Windows and OS X, a browser-based free-to-play online uh, uh, multiplayer online battle arena game, which, re which was released in 2014. However, it was shut down indefinitely on October 31st, 2016. So... The problem here is, guys, they tried a couple of things. Not only did they try, you know, to get a sequel off the ground, but because of the commercial failure, guys. I mean, you know, look, when I, I remember seeing the marketing, I thought the marketing was good. But at the time, people were starting to move in a direction of shooters. People liked playing shooters at this point in time. Those were on the rise. The real-time strategy genre was kind of on the decline as, as far as we know it uh, back then. And I just think that 
you know, between that, between it not being a game that was based solely on really the PC, it was like a PC game that went to consoles, it was more so the other way around. I think it was kind of behind in certain areas, whereas in other areas, I thought it was ahead of everybody else, like the voice activation or voice recognition, um, you know, controls in the game were beyond its time, in my opinion. And they also tried End War Online, free-to-play multiplayer, guys, and it just didn't work out, right? And it was shut down in 2016, a couple years after it was launched. And so it was really unfortunate, guys, that not only did the commercial, it was a commercial failure, but then obviously, and War Online didn't do well enough for them to, you know, continue even keeping that afloat. And it's really unfortunate because I think that there was definitely something here with End War as a whole. I, I felt that personally, this was a, a, a game that could have become could have become a massive franchise in the RTS genre, especially because when you look at the RTS genre as a whole, you, there's not a lot of really great RTS games that come out on a consistent basis. This could have joined the ranks of like Star. Starcraft and, you know, other games like that, but it obviously just did not hit with everyone in the right areas, and it was beyond its time, and maybe it was beyond its time to a fault, and that's just like the, the honest, you know, and unfortunate truth to Tom Clancy's End War. Will we ever get End War 2? Guys, the, the chances of it are very slim, not only because... It, I would say that if they ever wanted to bring it back from the grave, they may just do like, a, you know, a free-to-play model like they did with End War Online, but they already did that. And so they already been there, they done that, and so now Ubisoft is probably moving on to other projects, and it's pretty obvious, right? I mean, you know, it just, when you think about it, Ubisoft is only going to be able to work on so much, and obviously they don't want to take unnecessary risk when they've got these huge other IPs out there, even games like Split Winter Cell that they haven't brought back that probably would make more money than End War. They've got Assassin's Creed, Rainbow Six, and I mean, Far Cry, and the list goes on and on that would do way better than End War, where they could have their put their resources and time elsewhere. It's unfortunate, guys. I loved End War just as much as pretty much anyone else. I saw the flaws there. I felt it was beyond its time. It didn't land well with everyone because it was mixed reviews, but the real problem was the commercial failure that the game was not making them money. They spent a lot of money, most likely on marketing and things of that nature. It was an expensive game to make and they just didn't make enough off of it to justify a sequel. So that's pretty much what happened here to End War, guys. I'm hoping at some point or another we may get a game that maybe not necessarily exactly like End War, but something that's kind of a spiritual successor maybe, and maybe they do it right this time. I think the RTS genre needs to be based more so on PC, and then you can bring it potentially after it has its success on PC to consoles, because we've seen games like even Halo Wars and such just haven't really registered that well with people out there uh, being a game based on console. But that being said, guys, what do you guys think happened to Tom Clancy's End War? Do you think the series will ever come back? Let me know in the comment section below. And for more Tom Clancy's End War content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.